how a ketogenic diet may help within the, this context with the with the mental health uh, and disorders like bipolar disease for example food addictions yeah that's a big topic uh, i'm happy to go through that so just to comment on the ultra processed foods you know those are usually packed with a lot more sugar and combined fat uh, so that's there you're right there isn't a strict definition on it but the, there's a NOVA classification and they, they have a NOVA for foods and they consider the ultra processed foods having that, you know, high amounts of uh, sugar and, and fat combined, which makes it addictive. Um, it, so in terms of the ketogenic diet, I think we need to understand first, what are the deficiencies in some of the, the illnesses that we're studying? So, so with bipolar illness, uh, there are deficiencies in you know, what we think we understand is that there are deficiencies in energy metabolism. So some of these uh, mitochondrial dysfunction is, is a big, a big part of that, as well as certain enzymes that are not working optimally. And when we think about uh, neurotransmission as well, that that's affected. And so oxidative stress and inflammation are, are other uh mechanism as to why why we think that there's a deficiency and so ketogenic diets can be a good intervention we think because it bypasses some of this energy metabolism uh, deficits and and it does that because there are two pathways that it can take right so you're breaking down with the ketogenic diet you're breaking it down into ketones and you're breaking down fat and you're not you're shifting your metabolism from the carbohydrate burning state to a fat burning state. And so some of this ATP that's created, you know, it bypasses certain parts of the Krebs cycle and you're make, you're still producing ATP. So these cells in the brain that, you know, are using ketones now they're, they're bypassing what they would normally have been doing where they are not making enough ATP. And so this is one uh, mechanism as to how we think it helps. And you know the other thing is glycolysis, right? So, so that's another uh, place where you can create glucose in a different uh, fashion. And so oxidative stress is another, uh, reactive oxygen species is, is another um, mechanism as to why we think ketones can actually act that, that way as a uh, reactive oxygen species itself. And so um, if we, if we have too much stress around the cell, that's what we call oxidative stress. And so what a, keto, a ketogenic diet does is that it decreases that uh, reactive oxygen species and, and uh, inflammation. Yeah, so just to sum up, uh, basically what you are saying is that um, the ketones and fat burning in general is more energy efficient. It, it produces more um, uh, energy per uh, um, oxygen uh, uh, molecule oxidized, and, and so and less uh, and less uh, um, uh, uh, oxidative damage during the process per unit of energy. So basically, because we know that uh, uh, mental health is also um, oxidative stress is an underlying problem in mental health, you are addressing that uh, component, right? Yeah, exactly. So that, that's one mechanism that we think uh, is helpful. But ketogenic diets have been studied for a long time, actually. And it's been, it's been well known for its success in pediatric epilepsy with diabetes and obesity and insulin resistance as well more recently. But um, it's, there's some improvements that have been shown in the neurodegenerative conditions and developmental disorders like Alzheimer's or autism. And so that was one, one way, but we also think that it, it does other things with, um, you know, changing the hormonal shifts, like I was mentioning before, so that it actually modifies that natural and, and drug reward pathway in the brain. So your hunger hormones are not going awry anymore. And it can actually, um, you know, change the reactivity of the dopamine system. And so when you are having excess carbohydrates, 
these foods will cause rapid shifts similar to what drugs of abuse do, the pharmacokinetics of drug, drug abuse. And so you're also changing that system too with the ketogenic diet, at least as that's what we think. If you want to learn more about the science of epigenetics and nutrition longevity, check out my newsletter at dotraronica.com and in the link below this video so you won't miss my upcoming free webinars, courses and live Q&A.